Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. My name is Adriana Teodora Dyer and I'm an intuitive reader. And today I've got a message for the water signs. Really nice message. This is for the Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancers among us. So I wanted to mention also that I'm still offering 50% off of my intuitive readings. And that offer is going to be good throughout the rest of the month, the month of May. So if you're feeling like you need to a little bit of a check-in with your emotional, spiritual, psychological wellness, please check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com, and I would love to help connect you with the other side and get some messages for you. So let's move on to your reading. Interesting things going on. We've got the Two of Pentacles is the energy around you this week, and the way you feel about it is the Strength card. I'm going to wait to do the other three. We're just going to talk about these for a second. So this is busyness. There's more activity in your life. There's more things demanding your time. And it's kind of more different things. This is not like we're focused on one project. You're here and you're here and you're here and someone's calling you here and, and someone needs you here. And so there's just a little bit of this busyness. And sometimes this card can mean there's a struggle to keep your energy kind of intact because maybe there's so much going on that you feel that it's easy to get depleted. But the good news is that you're feeling like the strength card. <laughs> so um, this card talks about really using your strength in a gentle manner rather than a forceful, aggressive way. There's actually greater strength and gentleness. And though you're being pulled in a lot of directions, you're actually feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty strong. And the important thing to recognize is that this strength is in this configuration directed outwards it is directed out towards other people and while that's good you've got a message saying that we need to also configure that inward so we've got the ten of cups or ten of cups hello <laughs> king of cups going into the seven of pentacles meeting the three of wands so this is great this is just so nice these two lovely energy cards are coming out to meet this new journey and so we started with you're feeling like strength. And what they're trying to say with this is that the strength also needs to go inside, that you need to make sure that as things open up and get busier, that you're also making the choices that nurture yourself deeply, that make you feel supported, that make you feel um, kind of okay. And this is not that you're looking for someone else to tell you, yeah, yeah, this is okay. You're doing the right thing. This is you choosing for yourself, you making the decision for yourself without someone else bothering you or <laughs> influencing you, you making the decision for yourself that has to do with your own support. And the seven of pentacles is saying, you know, don't wait to do this right now is the time go for it. You've been wanting to nurture yourself for a very long time. You've been wanting to stand up for yourself. Maybe it feels like you're standing alone. Our three of wands here, she's not with anyone, um, anyone human. There's a tiny little cat there, but she's not, she's not with anyone else, but she's standing alone and you're saying, you know, I've wanted this for so long. My heart and my soul have been crying out for this self-nurturing for so long for me to make choices that really support me instead of being everyone for every, everyone else, everything for everyone else. I have really wanted this for a long time. And the message is, yes, you have. And right now is the time to do it, even if you feel like you're standing alone. Because the thing is, is that you won't be standing alone. This is the lovely energy of this spread here. Even though you're making your own choices and you're saying, I am supporting myself in making this choice, maybe nobody else is agreeing with me. Maybe nobody else is standing next to me. And maybe nobody else is even thinking that I need to do this. You know, maybe I really am standing alone. This energy is saying no, because when you act with the intent of supporting yourself, you can only attract support for yourself. So, you know, as you're trying to be a super person, super woman, super man, and you're saying, yes, I'll help you here. I'll do this here. I've got to take care of this. I've got all of these things that I have to do as you're scattered. That's not really supporting anyone, actually, because you're doing it from a place of, I have to do this, I have to do this, everyone needs me. If you were to make these choices from, you know what, this is what is going to support and nurture me right now. It might be being on my own right now, or it might be helping this one person. This is what I need to be doing right now because it's the right choice for me. Because of that, other people are actually going to start to look at you differently. They're going to see that, oh, 
That's interesting. And support may be coming from different places that you didn't expect. I'm not saying that everybody in your life will always support everything you're doing, but there's going to be more support than you realize when you do something with the intent of support. So um, <laughs> I hope that was clear. Sometimes I feel like with the water readings, we're a little bit like in the ocean, just kind of going back and forth. The big core message is just make every single choice you make this week, make sure it's in support of yourself. And it's not saying that you can... You have to stop helping somebody else or stop being available for someone else, but just make sure that in being available for that someone, that the choice is right with you first, not just responding to their need, responding to your true desire to help because of the way that you feel when you're helping someone else. So if you've got questions, please reach out in the comments. I know this was a little bit uh, <laughs> like that. So I hope, I hope the message came clear for you. And I do invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com, if you're feeling like you need some individual support. And lastly, if you're still watching this, please share, subscribe, comment, all of those good things. This is a really awesome way to support some positive energy in the world, and I would love for you to be a part of that. So I'll see you next week.